Tom Schumann, editor of the Indiana Chamber's Biz Voice magazine. The current issue includes a feature on safety in the workplace. Joining us is Robert Baldwin, president of Safety Resources in Zionsville. Robert, um, in these difficult economic times, some might be tempted to cut back on training uh, resources or funding. While that might seem good in the short term, talk about what could be long-term consequences from that. Well, these economic times um, demand change for survival, but change itself is expensive. And so the, the message is that if you're doing the right thing in terms of health and safety programs, keep doing it. Stopping that will undermine management credibility and ultimately lead to accidents and fatalities, which are going to cost even more. Robert, you noted in our Biz Voice story some major regulatory changes coming. Uh, give us a little hint there about what we might be seeing out of Washington. Well, Washington, I think, has turned, uh, the pendulum has swung totally the other way in terms of regulatory enforcement. OSHA is a regulatory enforcement agency, and they've said very clearly, we are going to enforce the law. Here in Indiana, I think we'll see a little bit kinder, gentler interpretation of that. However, uh, those who are doing the right thing are going to be fine. Those who aren't are going to face some pretty severe regulatory pressure, I'm sure. Robert, what kind of trends uh, is your company seeing? What, what are clients telling you about the type of training or, or what they're looking for from you? I think everyone's looking for efficiency and cost effectiveness in investment as far as training. So the push is toward um, web-based learning management systems, digital training videos, things of this sort. Um, unfortunately, that trend runs counter uh, intuitive to the fact that people need a more human touch right now. But it does accomplish some real cost efficiencies. So a, kind of a balancing act you've got there, right? I think so. Robert, thank you for joining us today. You can read much more in the Safety and Savings article in the current edition of Biz Voice. Log on to bizvoicemagazine.com.